Hey guys, welcome back to the Matt Greer Music Channel. Uh, if you didn't see it yesterday, I posted a video showing how the Digitact can be a USB class compliant audio interface with an iOS device. Uh, and I wanted to follow up with that and use the Digitone and kind of show some other things I've discovered about the update. Um, some FYIs before we get started, uh, I did determine that this uh, USB class compliant interface will work with both iOS or Android devices. Uh, my phone is actually an Android, that's what I'm filming this on. I, I prefer Android for phone and this iPad for audio apps. Um, but it will work on both platforms. Uh, something else I did discern with the Digitact, uh, you can sample into the Digitact over USB as well. So if you have a soft synth or something on your iOS device that you want to sample into the Digitact, you can do that. Uh, you just have to change the input audio to USB and it works just like any other external signal would to let you sample, which that's huge. I mean, because there's so many free or very affordable synthesizer and sound making apps uh, on both platforms that, I mean, it just opens up a whole world of sound possibilities. So um, yeah, that's about it for the FYIs. Uh, today I wanted to kind of go more in depth on this concept on how this can both be an interface and a controller uh, for apps. So I've got AUM running here on my iPad and I'm using this to both sequence devices in here uh, as well as monitor the audio back out. So you can see I have nothing plugged into the iPad for sound. Uh, it's literally just the USB camera kit on the on the side. Uh, so it has to send audio back into the device and that's where we're monitoring all that sound from is the headphone jack on the Digitone. So um, let me show you a couple things here what we've got. So I've got uh, the Mini Moog app. And that's sending its audio back into the digi Digitone. Uh, we've got that one. Get back here. I've got this I wave station. Got the string sound on there right now. I've got Arturia Spark for drums. And let me show you what we're doing here. So on the MIDI channels, I'm controlling those sounds with the Digitone. That is not a Digitone synth, that is the Mini Moog synth. So I'm able to play and sequence these devices with the Digitone, and that's that's massive. That is the coolest thing. And monitor the audio back through, back through it. Um, so let me go to channel two here. That's the Korg synth. And then we've got the spark on that one. Now for this channel, I actually just put the beats, I just programmed them on the sequencer on uh, this and I'm just sending clock to it so it syncs up. I found that easier than actually trying to use the trigs on here to sequence it because they're not polyphonic. Um, so like you could only have a kick or a snare or a hi-hat on a step. So this way I can use all of them polyphonically and, and have it still be in sync. Um, and of course, because this is a synth, I can actually have sounds from the Digitone as well. So. Four, four sequencing tracks that you can have, four in, internal uh, synth or drum tracks that you want, and that's not all. Because it accepts incoming audio, you can have an external source going into it too. So, I mean, just amazingly deep possibilities from such a small concept, or, or excuse me, compact setup, and I just... Thank you, Electron. You guys have really hooked us up with this update. Now, I know there's a lot of sequencer functions and excellent updates to the devices themselves. Um, I am going to show some of those later in videos, but right now it's this interoperability of all of it that's just blowing my mind. Um, so let me show you a little bit how the, the sequencing works and we'll kind of make a little, a little jam here. Uh, let me turn off some tracks. We'll just start with the drums. We'll bring in the bass. Super cool. The 
There's that Korg uh, wave station. All right, so let's bring in the Digitone synth. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, huge possibilities with all of this. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. If you're not familiar with this app, it's called AUM. It's basically a mixer, multi-channel effects processor, uh, integrator of all these different uh, iOS apps. Like I've got Arturia, I've got Moog, I've got Korg. They're all working together. Um, I can adjust the levels, add effects, all kinds of cool stuff in here. So if you're into iOS production, that's definitely a recommendation for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep messing with this and see what else I can discover. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them there or um, yeah, or maybe just make another video in the future. All right. Well, thanks for watching you guys and have fun making music. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.